Well, and the other important thing to mention here is that each object has its own timeline. So this is the timeline for the right shoulder. And if I click on something else like the tail, let's make the tail wag a little bit. It's an easy control. I'm going to click outside, click right on that, see if I've got the right one. So I'm just going to, whoa, 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 join us there. So in around the whoa, whoa, and the whoa, whoa, I'm going to do an animation. But I've lost all the other keyframes, right? Because the shoulder is no longer selected. I'd have to find that shoulder again, which sometimes can be quite difficult. I think that's it. And I'd know it because I would see the red. I'm going to move around a bit and try to find it. There. One of the secrets for pinpointing this is to have nothing else behind. See there, I had nothing else behind that control. So, right, they're back now because I have the right shoulder selected. So now I'm going to try to go to the tail wag control, which is right here. And I'll see how it works. Good. New timeline, it was in around 3035 that I needed to do the whoa, whoa, so here we go. And, and I want it to be steady from the start. So first of all, one there to keep it steady, 235. And now make the change just a little bit in S. Click on the timeline, make the change, S. Click on the timeline, make the change, S. Reverse, play, and I'll see both. Not bad. Not bad.